Good morning guys. Hey, it's been a minute. <laughs> Welcome back to the Justice Hobby Farm. Hey, let's go uh let's go feed these goats. They, they sound hungry. Uh and we'll tell you guys what we've been up to. Um and why we took such a break. Come on. Okay, so like it's super dark in there with the with the in the barn with the goats. Yeah, I said it guys. Barn. Uh, stay tuned. We'll show you. Get these, get these pigs fed. Because right now, let me get you guys up here to me. Because right now it's uh it's winter time basically uh the the pigs aren't eating a lot of grass because there's not a lot of grass to eat <laughs> um so we supplement we, we give a little alfalfa uh, we also put out a lot of hay uh, so they still get grass through the hay because it's just grass hay uh, so they're still getting plenty of hay uh, so it's not like they're not getting the hay that they need or the grass that they need but they're getting the hay and then they're getting the alfalfa and plus the the pellets uh, they get they get a cup they get a cup piece twice a day and that's what they recommend for cooney coonies so if you guys didn't know that now you do so as I stated there just a little bit ago guys, our barn is finally up and it's complete. So we've got a little barnyard going on here for the goats to be in uh, through the winter. And then we'll turn them back out in pasture uh, to eat briars and the leaves and grass and everything else that they eat uh, when it's summertime. So for right now, they're in here uh, living it, loving it. They got plenty of hay. I'll probably put another bale out today or tomorrow to fill up that feeder right there. They've got a hay feeder inside the barn as well. Um, but yeah, guys, finally, that pile of lumber that we had laying here is now a barn. <laughs> so it feels good to have the barn. It feels good to... Uh, I don't know how well you guys can see me in here, but uh, I'm trying to get some more feed. But we finally have our barn up, so uh, feels good. Feels real, real good. So let's go feed the chickens. All right, guys, let's go feed these chickens here. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see or have seen in the background yet, but the house is still here. Partly tore down. Uh, <clears throat> let me tell you a little bit about that. So, we were signed up in this government program where the National Guards would come and, here, Guineas, the National Guards would come out and tear these houses down for free. They got a grant to be able to do that uh, through the through the through the government and the process was you know they were going to tear down these old houses that were pretty much kind of abandoned and we uh, applied and we were approved and they got through the first county and ran out of money so go figure uh, not pointing any fingers but it was our governor's home county so who knows who knows? <coughs> but hey, get back. <laughs> hey, the chickens. They're ready to eat, guys. So let's throw his feet out here to him. We'll try to set you guys down over here. Oh, chickies.
we now free range our chickens also uh, I keep them I keep them in the pen in the run whatever until about 11 o'clock then I come out and get them uh, the only reason I do that is because uh, See if I can sit you guys down over here. The only reason I do that is because I, I really don't like hunting for eggs. Nope. Everywhere. It's too tall, guys. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, anyways. It's too tall. And... Uh, but anyways, I, I leave them in there because I don't like hunting for the eggs. Um, and this way here, I can monitor. The, I can get eggs. I can gather the eggs easier. Sorry, guys. I was trying to get the rabbit feed. I'll take you guys along with my chores. <laughs> so, got the goats, got the pigs. Now we got the chickens and the guineas all fed up. The ducks got fed. Now it's time to feed the rabbits. Okay, I'm trying to set you guys down. I got you on my tiny tripod. Oh, there you go. You can see. You can see the cross. Woo! -hoo. Go Jesus! Right. Our new project. Right there. I am fixing to put together a new chicken coop out of an old busted up chicken coop. You guys might not know it but I love to repurpose love 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 to repurpose stuff friend of ours was getting rid of an old chicken that old chicken coop was busted up some she said and I said that's fine I still have a pile of lumber <clears throat> a pile of lumber and I'm not, I'm not kidding guys we have so much wood I got it stacked everywhere and my wife was like you can't be dragging no more of this stuff in I'm like but it's going to come in handy one day <laughs> I still don't know what that one day is. So I've got ADHD, guys. And for me, <laughs> starting project and not finishing project is normal. That just goes along with my ADHD. Uh, Also talk to you guys a little bit about my absence. Some more things that are going on around the farm. What we've been doing, what we've been up to. Oh yeah. Here we still have this and that pile still yet <laughs> so I got projects in mind it's just getting them started and completing them and tearing down part of this house we ended up with a bunch of two by fours like they went overboard with the two by fours for real guys for real <laughs> like Instead of building the floor of the of the porch that that they built, instead of using like decking boards or one by sixes or two by sixes, anything like that, you know, or the old rough cut like the old house is made out of. Instead of that, they used untreated, then they painted two by fours. Yeah, two by fours. The entire length of this porch is eight foot because 
the length of the two by fours are eight feet. Eight foot by 40 feet, guys. So when we tore that out, we ended up with a lot of two by fours. A lot of two by fours. We get these meat rabbits and stuff fed. I said that to say this that that we plan to use those two befores as of as everything else the wood that's here whoops oh, spill some water got it all down my my boot too nice just glad it ain't a freezing cold day <laughs> okay let's try to feed this guy real quick set you guys right there can you see me can you see me yeah you can see me so we're gonna use obviously I'm going to use that wood. I'm going to build rabbit hutch out of the old dog kennel we had in the back because we got rid of the hunting dogs. It's not fair to them. I can't hunt no more. Uh, like I said, we'll get into that stuff here in just a little bit. Hey, baby. That's pebbles, guys. And that's peanut. Hey, guys. Hey guys, <laughs> hi girls. Those are Nigerian doors. We got those. I think those are new to the farm that you guys haven't seen yet. We've been busy. We have been doing stuff. <laughs> Just, uh, you boys be good. Just uh, haven't filmed anything. And uh, I'll explain that. I'll explain that here in just a minute. Uh, let me first go over here and get you on a better tripod. Okay, guys. Get you a little better here. Okay. So, let me explain to you a little bit about what's been going on. So, first, we did build the barn finally. We got the roof and stuff on it. Uh, goats been living in it for maybe two months or now. Uh, got the goats probably five months ago, four or five months ago. Uh, so, we've had them for a little while. Um, what else is going on? Um, just life, I guess. <laughs> uh, so, I'll tell you a little backstory about myself and our family and how it came to be, uh, too, that we started this homesteading process. First, in 2014, we were involved in a vehicle accident. Uh, the vehicle accident extremely changed our lives. Uh, we thought at the time for the worst, but it turns out that it was for the better. So, um, I was working, of course, uh, doing good, and my wife was working, and our son was going to a great little school, um, 2014, I was going back to school, um, my wife was in school to finish up a degree. I was in school to start my degree that I wanted to do uh, for several years in my life. I've been wanting to be a, a uh, environmental biologist, so that's what I was going to school for. Uh, my wife was finishing up criminal justice, um, bachelor's degree in criminal justice, and then we were in the accident. Um, the accident really threw us all for a loop. Uh, it was extremely emotional for my wife. She ended up having psychogenic seizures. Um, she had some um, muscle or, or some issues in her shoulder that she ended up getting some shots and stuff to take care of. My son was very, very uh, emotional, uh, diagnosed very young, six years old, PTSD. Guys, that's that's rough. That's really rough. Um, and then I ended up having to have back surgery. Uh, if you guys follow us 
on Facebook or Instagram or anything like that, you know that already. Uh, but I had back surgery um, to fix a ruptured disc and a herniated disc. I ended up getting what they call epidural fibrosis, which is scar tissue that's around um, my nerve roots and stuff that's in my spine. So that disabled me. I'm not allowed to get back to work because I can't. I can't stand very long. I can't sit very long. I can't. I can't work very long. As you guys noticed, the chores didn't take very long. So farming isn't isn't terrible. Homesteading here isn't. Uh, one and a half acres. Everything is really close. That's designed that way on purpose. Um, didn't want it to walk to the end of the yard to get to the barn or end of the yard to get the feed and then have to come back to this side of the yard to get you know to feed the animals instead we wanted to be able to do everything right next to each other so that's what we designed it um so i've been down with that i found depression uh, honest guys i i wanted to end everything i didn't want to live no more uh, got help for that been doing pretty decent started this farm in 2020 uh, when everything hit the fan uh, we seen a need also my doctor was like you need a job a chore type thing that you can do complete and make you feel good about yourself so we got your chickens and everybody knows that the chickens is the gateway drug into homesteading so next thing you know we started uh, we started getting other animals started getting uh, guineas we got duck oh no we got ducks and then we got guineas then we got the pigs, and then we got, well, we've always had rabbits. Um, then we got the, the the goats. We started gardening. We got a greenhouse. We started planting an orchard after my dad passed away, which was another huge, huge bummer. Uh, when my dad passed away, it really put a depression on all of us. Um, and that's some of the reason that the video slowed down. Uh, it's been year and a half now probably when my dad's passed away uh, it still hurts still really hurts my son still really hurt by it because they were like best friends best best friends uh, my wife is really really hurt um, it was really the first time in in her lifetime I guess that she's been <clears throat> that close to somebody who's passed away so it really it really put a, a damper on her as well but we are starting to pull through and we wanted to continue to document our journey as growing a homestead from nothing on this one and a half acres um, so I've been doing a lot of watching YouTube and things and I've been getting inspired uh, Roots and Refuge where they started over again uh justin rhodes where he went on the american farm tour and then started over again uh just so many others that are on youtube uh they're they're also inspiring people contacting us and asking us if we're okay and if we're getting back on youtube things like that so yeah i think we're getting back guys uh i hope to start filming a little bit more uh i don't know if we can do as much as everybody else has been doing with the whole everyday videos because our internet here sucks <laughs> and i just don't know if we can put it out as fast because our internet it a 20 minute video or a 15 minute video takes us all night long and then part of the next day to the upload that's how slow our internet here is so we're going to try. We're going to really, really try to put at least two, three videos out a week. Uh, might be basically the same thing. Repetition, repetition, repetition. You know, feeding to animals. Talking to you guys a little bit about what we're doing or what we're planning to do. I'll take you along with some of our new builds that we're going to be doing. We're getting ready to get a building put in. Uh, it was given to us by a church. I told you guys I love to repurpose stuff. This was given to us by a church. It has a big hole in the roof of it. We're going to rip that whole side out anyways and extend that building, make it longer. Uh, and then we're going to put a store in it. We're going to obviously, we're going to start selling some produce and stuff from here. We're going to start selling our Cooney Cooney meat. Yep, we got proof for that. Uh, rabbits, we're going to start butchering those and selling that meat. 
off the farm so we're going to be doing that uh, we're going to get into uh, selling just baby goats we're just, we're going to sell kids not any uh, dairy products but we are going to milk we're going to uh, start in spring we're going to breed these guys really soon so we can have babies in the spring and then uh, that way we can have uh, some fresh goat milk soon oh, what else uh, hope to expand our chicken flock a little bit um, and uh, we're going to build a new rabbit hutch back there uh, so we're going to build a new duck house we can put our ducks up at night time instead of letting them just uh, do whatever they want to at night time I think they've been sleeping with the pigs so they're good um, we're going to plant some more trees in the orchard we dug a bigger garden spot uh, we may end up finding another garden place and maybe gardening some more uh, having two big gardens going at one time uh, so uh, yeah exciting stuff coming we just need to learn to bring this along and bring you guys along with us uh, mostly for us because we, we want to we want to look back on this in 10 years and say wow look where we've came from so and hope you guys come along with us